So many of us look at business and industry as the world's biggest problem. Industry destroys our environment, industry exploits people, industry corrupts the government, and we all want to change that part of industry. But the question is, how? You can petition on street corners, boycott whoever you like, hook up with Greenpeace, whatever. But when it comes down to it, these problems are bigger than that. These problems are massive and crushingly complex. And raising awareness is good, but it's not a solution. If you really want to make a difference, you need end-to-end -end analysis of the systems that created the problems. And you need solutions that industry will put into practice, which means you need solutions that work financially. And that's the real idea of sustainability simultaneously achieving financial, environmental, and social goals. And it all falls back on the analysis. You've got to analyze the problem before you can find a solution. And you do that with decision science. Decision science uses math to do everything in business better, faster, smarter, stronger. Simulation, statistics, and optimization are the three main techniques we use to maximize efficiency, minimize waste, predict the future, and generally just run business more intelligently. Consider the multi-billion dollar residential waste management industry. Every week a garbage truck comes to your house and picks up your mini mountain of trash. Some of it gets recycled, but most of it gets burned or buried. And the technology needed to recycle nearly everything already exists. So what's standing in the way? The systems. The collection, processing, and remanufacturing systems need to be analyzed and redesigned from the ground up, and the only way to do that is with decision science. Consider an even bigger industry, consumer electronics. Companies have to make huge upfront investments in new design procedures and manufacturing systems to come up with greener ways of making our gadgets, and they certainly won't make those investments unless they know what to expect. So you've got to research, model, and forecast the market using tools like regression analysis, diffusion modeling, and a whole arsenal of time series forecasting techniques, all of which live in the domain of decision science. Take the lumber industry, one with an obvious, direct, and massive impact on natural environments. We need wood, there's no two ways about it. But if we use our forests wisely, then they absolutely qualify as renewable resources. But it takes decision sciences to be wise. You have to model the growth cycles and optimize the production and transportation process. When you keep tabs on everything with mathematical analysis, you know when to let forests grow and ecologies regenerate, and you know when it makes sense to harvest. These examples are just three among thousands of ways to help make a world-changing positive impact with decision science. The question now is how to get started. And the answer is simple. Learn decision science. It doesn't matter whether you're planning for a business degree, engineering degree, environmental science degree, whatever. Learn decision science. It goes by many names, operations research, analytics, management science, industrial engineering, but no matter what you call it, it's one of the most powerful weapons we have in the fight for a sustainable future.